How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with Scott from Saucony and today we are going to be taking a first look at the new Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. Now the Shift series has always been a shoe in the Endorphin line that's been intriguing but it's a little bit different. You've got the Pro and the Speed that are really based on race day and performance for workouts but the Shift is going to be a little bit more based for that daily training. It still has that fast feel but a little bit more cushioned on foot. Now we've got an all new design with the Endorphin Shift 3. Can you tell us a little bit about this shoe? First on up, maybe give us an idea of how you've used this in your own lineup. Well, for my own lineup, it's a, it's a shoe that I run in a lot of days. Uh, it is an everyday trainer. So it is going to be a shoe that provides a lot of security on the foot. The common theme between all the Endorphin Collection shoes is what's known as speed roll geometry, which is really the idea of an aggressive toe spring that's really encouraging the runner to be forward and propelling forward at all times when they're running in the shoe. Well, moving on down to the midsole, I know Power Run PB is used in a lot of the other Endorphin shoes, but the Shift utilizes a Power Run midsole. Can you tell us a little bit about that design here? It looks a little bit different. Can you tell us about the updates? Absolutely. Power Run as a material is used in a lot of our franchise models, like the Guide, the Ride, Kimbara, shoes that you're very familiar with. In the Endorphin Shift, we use that as well. But one of the things that's happened over the course of the past few years is Power Run as a material has evolved, and it's quite a bit lighter than it's been previously. So on the Endorphin Shift, the midsole compound has a, a more aggressive stack height, and it gives you a really lightweight feel to the shoe. Yeah, and there's a lot of cushioning underfoot, but with the Endorphin shoes, we always think Pro has that carbon plate, Speed has the nylon plate. We still continue to not have a plate in version three, is that correct? That's correct. But one of the things that we do offer is the stack heights on this are significantly higher than what we have on some of our other shoes, especially in the forefoot. So on the midsole, you have a 39 millimeter stack height in the heel. 35 in the forefoot. So this is still a four millimeter offset, but because you've got such a high stack height in the forefoot, really not necessary to have a plate to still encourage that propulsion phase of the of the gait cycle. Yeah, and with those slightly higher stack heights, I imagine the shoe's gonna feel even more cushioned on foot. So continue to be a great daily training option and really a great option for some of those long runs and with that speed roll technology, maybe even some of those quicker long runs. Now, moving on down to the outsole, not any huge changes. Can you tell us about the design and uh, about the new rubber layout? Yeah, you'll notice that it's we have a really aggressive flex groove that moves vertically on the shoe. Um, really encouraging uh, that lay down, uh, smooth transition through midfoot. You'll also notice that more beveled heel that we'll have through the heel. But as far as the outsole compound is concerned, very consistent. So you've got those you know, that, that blown rubber forefoot that's really gonna provide a really soft, plush landing, but it's gonna be durable to withstand the life cycle of this shoe. And of course, to finish this shoe off, we gotta talk about the upper. And just taking a look at it, it's really clean, especially to the last two versions. I wouldn't say they weren't good looking shoes, but now looking at this shoe, it's just, it's a head turner. Can you tell us about the new upper design and some of that language we see in it? Absolutely, so a couple things you'll notice is just from a, uh, appearance standpoint. It's the first time that we've taken the Saucony logo and moved it from the upper down to the midsole. So really calling out the amount of cushioning that's going to be offered on the midsole of the shoe. That has allowed the upper to be very clean using an engineered mesh through the forefoot and then reinforce the eyelets as well as like midfoot to just provide a nice secure fit. The one other thing I would say is that the category that this shoe slides into is going to be more of a structured cushioning category. So you'll notice that we're doing a TPU frame that's going to wrap the heel, really cradle the foot and put you in a nice secure place. Perfect. Well, I think the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 is really building upon the last couple versions and it's going to continue to be an awesome shoe that offers that high level of cushioning, that speed roll technology, a fantastic option to kind of round out the endorphin line. I know it maybe doesn't get quite the glory as the pro or the speed, but it is a fantastic option to add into your training lineup. The final question I have for you is when can people get this shoe on their feet? Uh, this shoe will come out in October 2022. If you're looking to get the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 on your feet, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.